Hi, I'm Ted Nash, and uh, I'm a saxophonist, obviously, and I play with the Jazz and Lincoln Center Orchestra. I want to talk a little bit about the saxophone as an extension of who you are. An instrument has to be an extension of who you are. If you're going to really play, if you're really going to make music with this thing and not have it be something that's in the way of your music, you have to make this a part of yourself. And um, you can do that right away. You can do that from the very beginning. When you take this instrument out of your case and you put it in your hand, you feel it, you hold it, you know? You, you just kind of, you want to get intimate as possible with this instrument because this is the thing that you're going to be speaking with. This is going to be your new voice. So you hold it in your hand, you uh, finger a note, and you listen to it, and you say, what is that going to sound like? So you s sing the note. Da. Right? See how close you are. Da. Da. Now I'm singing really close to what the note's pitch is. And so that means that I have an idea of what this is going to sound like when I finger it. If you notice that when you hold this horn and you finger a note and you sing a note and it's completely different from the note that actually came out when you played, then you've got to get, you've got to get more familiar with what that's going to sound like. And you can practice it. It could be actually the very first thing you do. It could be the first minute of your practice routine. Do, do, de, da. Always play with expression, too. Don't make it just flat. Phrase it. Put some vibrato in it. Nuance. Put some, you know, something in the sound. So that's kind of a way to just get kind of familiar with the instrument when you first pull it out of the case. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. It's not like I have to get a whole bunch done. I just want to get this instrument to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable with it. I want to know that it's going to, it's going to serve me, that we're going to be friends, you know? We are friends. This is not a battle. This is not him against me. It's not, you know, we're, we're together on this. Music is something we do together. Kind of the first thing that you should do then, once you get that, you start singing some notes, getting familiar with the sound, just pick a couple of notes and see how they resonate. Notice the notes. Notice how one note might be a little bit brighter than another, might want to sing a little bit more. And you can do two things. You can bring out that singing quality. Like I notice when I play that A on my horn, it wants to vibrate and sing a certain way. So let me embrace that. Let me have fun with that. You know, a horn is, is quirky. Every note is a little different. You know, I mean, not every note's going to sound exactly the same. And you can use that to your advantage. You don't have to work against it. You know, when you go across the break, for example, you go from a C sharp to a D. You notice that break there. It's something that we're always dealing with, the break. You can just hear it. It's like goes from a thinner sound to a thicker sound. Notice that difference. And notice that bump. See if you can practice making it very smooth. And always play with expression. Don't Play the things flat. There's no music in that. Because you realize that everything that you practice is going to become part of how you play. So if you practice with expression, when you actually get up to play a solo, you will play with expression because you've been practicing doing that. So remember that. Every time you put this horn in your hands, make music. Make a musical statement. Have fun. Discover your horn. 
I mean, this horn is going to play differently from your horn. That's the thing, is my C sharp is going to sound different from your C sharp. That's the thing that you've got to learn how your horn works. It's not like, do I have the most expensive horn? It's going to make me play better. Don't be thinking about that. I pay $200 for this horn, to be honest with you. It doesn't matter. I like the vibration of the horn. It's not, it's not how much I paid for it. There are some quirky parts to the horn. You're going to find quirky areas of your horn, like, like down low. That's a, lo that's a flat note on my instrument, a D natural. I notice if I put my C sharp, open my C sharp up, it makes my D a little sharper. Now I can fill it up. Right? I discovered that. It helps me play. So this is the kind of thing. Get in intimate with your instrument. Make this an extension of who you are, how you feel, what you think, what you hear. And you can do that from the minute you put it into your hands. Just hold it. Feel it. Finger a note. Sing it. Play. Is that the note that you were singing? If you can do that, this is an extension of you. So just keep working on that. That's an important, very basic tool. Could be just the way you start your first five minutes of your practice routine. So uh, have fun with it. Uh, again, this is Ted Nash, and I've enjoyed talking to you. Thank you.